time we went to um, the painted world and we wound up running across a sad winged cat lady who was like, please don't fight me. And I was like, okay. And then we had a vote. And the vote was, does Lauren have to fight the cat lady to understand what's going on with the cat lady? Well, Ben, it was nice to see you. No, Ormi, in fact, that's the whole thing. Well, she was a cat lady. Oh my gosh, it's so cool up here. Just like, look at that. Just like, look at the scenery. Don't you kind of feel like you're there? Yes, this is Dark Souls 1. It's so amazing. Oh my god. Like, look at that. Just like, look. You know? No, I didn't want to fight poor sad lady, so I was willing to forgo the lore. But we had a vote, and the vote was overwhelming. 75% ish of people said that, that blues should give me the information so that I don't have to fight poor sad lady. So. Hmm? Did I wait? So they're talking, I'm afraid I don't understand. Shall we go somewhere where we can summon blues? <coughs> where can we summon blues? Do we have skin? We don't have skin. Okay. Need humanity. Yes, in fact, to do the task at hand. No, Android. Blues is the one who's going to do this. All right. You could give me her name in chat. That's true. I guess we should probably do that. Sure, let's have a moment. We'll sit here and meditate in front of our friend. Crossbreed Priscilla. Oh, what? What? Are you serious? What does that even mean? What would she be a crossbreed with? I mean, like, hold on. What? What? But. <sighs> Hi, Metaton's Xbox. But hold up. Hmm. No, it's over here. Oh. No, that's not me doing any good. <coughs> uh, if it's not in the box, then it's in my items. No, that's equipment. That's items. So is she the abomination? Hmm. And then she made it not cold and lonely. If she's like, everyone here is really lovely without you around. That's actually kind of sweet. But who or what? Crossbreed Priscilla. I don't understand. Like, she's like a fuzzy cat lady or something like that. I don't understand. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that. <coughs> <coughs> well, confusion, see, in the previous stream, we came across um, this lady. Muramas, please do not tell me spoilers. I only want, um, I, 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 it was a very big deal for me to ask for one particular piece of information, but this is a no spoilers, no backseating stream. Um, so, yes, this is, this is not tell Lauren the answer. The entire point of my playing Dark Souls is to figure out answers for myself. So if you tell me the answers, you will defeat my fun and everybody else's fun. And I know you don't mean any harm by it, but that's kind of how we roll here. So please, no spoilers. That said, it's 
it's okay. Um, but I'm a lore player, not a be good at video games player. So. She looks like a cat to me. She's fuzzy. Dragons aren't fuzzy, guys. But okay. Hey, Roland Peanut Shell. Feels like it's been forever. Okay. We should teleport somewhere. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that I have enough crazy ideas that some of them are going to wind up being right. Oh my gosh. Oh, we have a kitty. We've got a kitty. She's fluffy. You see? You see how fluffy? Nox, I think we found a cat girl. Nox, what do you think? Would you be a fuzzy winged cat girl? Would you live in the painted world? No. You would be sad and lonely there. This is Nox. Baby, baby, baby. Mmm. 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 Well, the thing is, like, there aren't that many species that we know of. There's... Humanoids. And god humanoids. And... Oh, I don't want to have to go all the way up there and kill everything, though, you know? Like, that's going to take a while. Just to go check her out. Ariamis. Painted world of Ari Ariamis. I like that you can warp there, though. That's nice. But you can't warp outside because that bonfire is not connected to the other bonfires. So how is it that you can warp there? That doesn't make any sense. I guess it must be from a gameplay perspective. Um... Yeah, no. I don't know that I want to have to go through there. No, they're not! Um... Hold on. How do I get there? No, I've totally seen some dragons, and they're not fluffy. <laughs> it's okay, Sirtaki. I appreciate it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well... So she's a crossbreed. My theory was that she was going to be somebody created by... Oh... Man. Mm. <clears throat> That's true, the one, one punch shrooms. I don't think she's a crossbreed with that. <coughs> Golems are definitely not like people people. Plant people don't seem to be people people. Um, I am a pyromancer. But I'm wearing my cat boyfriend's legs because they are cool looking even if they don't fit my pyromancy gear. Okay, so the places that I can go. I can go up there to survival horror land. Or I can go to hell. Or I can go to other hell. Or I can go to the village of the damned. None of these are really places I want to go. I'm pretty sure those are my four options. I think maybe I'll just like stand here and admire the scenery, you know? I mean, like, it's some pretty nice scenery. Like, check it out. I know, Sir Taki. I have two choices that are both pretty hellish. I don't want to go talk to Frampt. <laughs> I know, Sir Taki. I was amused by that. Yeah, do I want Dark Hell or Fire Hell? It's a good question. No, oh, Mr. Chomperson. I don't want to talk to Mr. Chomperson. I don't like Mr. Chomperson, okay? I don't trust him. That guy is up to no good. I don't... I don't believe there's a place I might like. Blues? None of my options are good. They're all probably going to give me real-world nightmares. Like, that's one of the problem that I have right now. Is that I literally think I'm going to have nightmares. No, 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 no. So, Joaquin, the catacombs are dark hell. Oh, I could go to Ash Lake again, Android. <laughs> oh, man. I could totally go to Ash Lake again, couldn't I? That is a good point. Let's do that. We can go to Ash Lake. Look at me remembering buttons. It's been a month, guys. It's been a month. Like, a month. 
a month. Is this the right one? Or is there another one that's closer? Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Okay. We're gonna try this, guys. Okay. I'm probably gonna die a whole bunch. Try to remember how to play the game. Hi, friends! Oh my god. Okay. I could just not cry a whole lot. Let's not do this. We're just gonna not. We're intentionally trying to go to places um, that are not gonna really mess me up emotionally. Eh? Eh? Uh. Hmm. I don't remember how to get out of here, guys. I thought... I might not have activated the bonfire. Did I even find it? Was that a conscious decision? Was I trying to be all smart and stuff? Okay. Don't be cocky, Lauren. Just because you've been here before, you don't remember anything about this place. You're gonna die. Well, there's like messed up emotionally, and then there's like messed up emotionally. I know. I'm gonna cry a lot. Is this the right way? I did. I did a whole lot of Dark Root Garden. I did. I fought the saddest. I, I cried. There's a crying a lot. Oh, this is where I fought Quilag. Buttons, yes! Oh man. Quite a cavernous place, okay. How do I get out of here? Here, here, yes, got it. No, not, not got it. Yeah, I don't want to go to New Londo. See, like again, my uh, oh no, you know what, you guys just chill. I'm not gonna fight you. Bye buddies. Yeah, don't tell me anything about this, but yeah, so I'm not going to go to New Londo because that's nightmares. I have a phobia of a phobia of caves and a phobia of fiery demonic caves especially. So like, oh hello, okay now how do I get there? I think there's some things that I don't want to have to deal with on this mountain-y thing. Don't remember which ones they are, though. And then... Oh, hey! Actually, I wonder whether... I wonder whether the remaining humanoid sister will... I don't know, Blues. I don't... Ah! Oh, jeez. I don't remember what you guys are. I seem to recall I ran from you because you threw things at me. No! Bad. Oh my god. Let's just not. <laughs> I'm gonna be poisoned. I'm gonna die. 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 It's gonna be bad. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, right. There's buggies. I forgot about the buggies. Let me set you on fire. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. There's two of you. Holy. Holy crap! No! 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 I don't remember how to get where I'm going! No! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! This is not good! This is not good! Sorry, buggies! I don't wanna fight you! I don't wanna fight you! No! No, I don't! No! 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 No. H how about no? <sighs> okay, well, apparently... Apparently, I actually remember something about this area.
All right, Blues. Well, thank you so much. We'll let you know if I wind up needing some more additional help on thingummies. Um, if I decide that I want to get more information on Priscilla, crossbead Priscilla. But I'm going to think on it. But enjoy your dinner. Okay, so I remembered this. This one's all glowy. Is this glowier than usual? <coughs> <coughs> oh no, I'm coughing. I didn't want to cough. Okay. Alright, Lauren. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's the no poison thing. Equip. Yes, there's a ring. Which ring do I get rid of, though? Do I want my poise ring? Or my carry stuff ring? Uh, what does this one do again? Makes you go normal speed in the water. Eh. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Okay, Lauren. Let's try to remember. Where are we going? Where are we going? Mm -hmm. um. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody is very intimidated by you. Look at how scary. Bye bye, buggy! Oh, oh wait, do I have enough experience to level up? Hmm. Hmm. Oops. I like how like in pain my character sounds because she got bit by a mosquito. I mean, don't get me wrong, getting bitten by a mosquito sucks. All right, we're just gonna like bravely run away, 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 away. Oh no, we got poisoned. Um, I don't remember how to get where we're going. Um. Oh hey, don't I get humanities from the dudes here though? The sluggies, not the buggies. The sluggies. Hey, deep shock, indeed. Hey, sluggies! Yes, you! You're the one! I guess you're more of a leech than a slug. Oh no, you're a buggy. Look at all these bugs! So gross! Why am I taking so much damage and bad at things? I... I'm not doing very well. In my defense, it has been a literal month since I last played Dark Souls. All right. So where's the giant tree from here? That's a tree. Is that the tree I want, though? Um. All right. How do I get there? Oh, look at that. Look at that corpse doing flips. Very nice. Look at you doing flips through the ground. I'm so proud of you. You're so acrobatic. All right. Okay. Uh, where is it? Can I see it from here? Oh, come on, Lauren. Oh, jeez. Um. Where? If I were a giant tree. I would not be a bug. Sorry, bug. I don't want you. Go away, bug. Nobody likes you. I'm sorry, bug. You're not very popular. Am I back at the bonfire already? Wait, hold up. Is that... I'm going to die to some mosquitoes because I had to see that Onion Bro was there. Okay, let's heal. And then we're going to go visit our friend. I am going to just run fearlessly across. Oh my gosh, you look lost. Oh no, friend. Hello, friend. Are you 
okay, my friend? Is he snoozing? Is he... I'm short on antidote moss for the trip back. Antitoad. Um, by my knighthood, I'm ashamed to ask. But can you spare a few scraps of moss? Fantastic. Thank you. A saint you are. This knight of Katarina expresses his deepest gratitude. I shall not forget this. Please, take this. A symbol of my appreciation. Yes! Well. Our fates do seem entwined, don't they? Perhaps this, too, is the will of Lord Gwyn. <laughs> oh, my God. Yay! Friend, 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 friend. I found a friend. I found a friend. I found a friend. Why would anybody say no to him? He's the cutest. Also, hunger service. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, my God. How are you doing? What kind of awesome stuff did you do today? Oh my gosh. No, but do you see? Look! My onion friend is here. Do you see how cute he is? He is the happiest. Like, I don't know. I think he might be the happiest. Wait, wait, wait. Does your sword have a little spiky on it? Does, m oh, is it? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hey, cauliflower crust meat pizza. My sister likes that. <coughs> I would love to eat something like that. That sounds delicious. Hold on. Sorry, I have to check out this thing I just got because it might tell me more about my friend. It does have a stavity on it. Oh, certain knights of Katarina. I wanted more. I wanted to know, like, I want to know what your, like, your favorite kind of ice cream is. Can we go get ice cream in a totally platonic bros sort of way? Hmm? Please? Please? Oh my gosh. I wonder if that means that he'll be able to do stuff with him later. Onion ice cream. Oh, you know, like, Iron Chef Italian once made squid ink ice cream, and I think that was probably the worst. You know? Hmm. <laughs> what? No humanities? Come on! Okay, well, caramelized... I would eat the hell out of caramelized onion ice cream. Has that been done? Can somebody vouch for whether that's good or not? Because I would like that. Maybe I'll try making it. Friends. Alright. Yeah, it's okay. I scream a lot while I play it, so... I have... No dignity. Right now, I'm avoiding going to the scarier places, so I backtracked. Because, like, every other place in the game that I have open to me right now is probably going to give me literal nightmares in real life. Uh, much to my great dismay. So, instead, we are discovering that our friends live here. Yeah, no, caramelized onion ice cream, it almost seems like it could work. I mean, I guess maybe if it was more of like a savory, like an intentionally savory thing, it would kind of like be on the border of savory and sweet. But what would you serve it with? Like, like that's just like asking to be some sort of like Iron Chef pairing, you know? Hey! No, no, no. Oh my god, guys. There's um, a gelato place in Austin that has a lot of really good savory um, ice cream gelato flavors. And I don't have access to it anymore because I moved to Pennsylvania. But small town Pennsylvania, so there's not like super rad gelato places just everywhere. Oh look, there's more of these guys. Maybe I should have set you guys on fire.
Oh, maybe Onion Friends does have more to say. Oh, jeez. I was too busy dancing around him to talk to him. Okay, Titanate Shards are cool and all, but I could use some humanity so I can go give it to Our Lady of Humanities. Well, I'm lost, so I might as well go back to Onion Friend. Because I don't know what else I'm doing. I'm good at video games. I'm not actually good at video games, that's the secret. I'm actually pretty bad at them. But we might someday, if we're lucky, beat this game. Alright, Onion Friend. I'm coming! Maybe he'll say something else. I thought the slugs dropped humanity. <gasps> Can I give you my ring? Can I give you my ring? I'll give you a ring of not... He does not approve. He's like the best, okay? I mean, he's not actually my favorite favorite. But he's up there. He's super cute. Okay, so... I have managed to successfully find a couple of things that I remember from the last time I was here. Um, well, I want her to be okay, and I don't know that she's going to be okay, but she might be less not okay if I give her all the humanity I can find. Plus all the humanity that people give me so I can keep summoning them, but instead of summoning them, <laughs> I just give the humanity to her. Oh, wait. I can't go through there, can I? I'm just gonna get poisoned. That's not a good idea, Lauren. Let's not get poisoned. Oh, rats drop humanity. <coughs> Is that because they've of all the of all the plague fighting and stuff? Oh no, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, it's gonna be bad. Okay, well I'm almost out of Astuses, I think. Do 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 What? I'm back here already. Hi buddy, bye buddy. So where on earth am I getting to? I don't know. Hi Ella, are you a kitty? You're a kitty. Do 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 No 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 kill me. No 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 kill me. Don't kill me. No no no. No no you're gonna kill me. I don't want that. I just told you not to kill me! And you're all, I'm going to kill you now. That's not very kind of you, Mr. Sluggy. However, I think this is the thing I want. Let's do it, friends. Run, 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 run. Yes! I did it! I did it! I did it! Down? Why down? Oh, oh, maybe it's telling me down because there's actually down from the up. Okay. <clears throat> Caramelized onion ice cream with balsamic vinegar reduction? Cheese, that sounds good. Moon follow, thank you for following. Man, I would eat that. That sounds delicious. Okay, friends, are we ready for me to die a whole lot? Are you ready? Are you ready? We're ready, Lauren. We're so ready. That's what your collective voices sound like. Okay. So there's basilisks down there is what I really don't want. I think everything else is less bad than the basilisks. Oh man. Grapefruit tarragon. That sounds classy and good. Caramelized onion ice cream with goat cheese. Goat cheese. What do you think? Would that be good? Hi Gabe! Yes! Okay. Thank goodness. Okay, friends. Oh, wait, wait, do I have enough to level? Sorry, indecision. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Nope, not yet. Um, maybe I should level up. I'm close. Maybe I should eat some items. Oh, man. Yes, balsamic and basil and strawberries. Yes! No, but that's why you notice that that's why it's caramelized onion ice cream. It's different. Caramelized onions are amazing. Oh my god, you'd have to like have it with like something like crunchy though. Like you'd have to have like your caramelized onion ice cream that has like it's like 
like caramelized onion and goat cheese ice cream with like something crunchy on it. Like I wonder if you had like a super 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 bittersweet chocolate cookie and you made an ice cream sandwich. That might be too weird. Hmm. <coughs> well, yeah, on second thought, maybe that wouldn't be good. Maybe like a brown butter shortbread? Oh my god, I love the chimey sound here. Okay, I was gonna do a thing. What was I gonna do, friends? What was I gonna do? Was a savory ice cream? What was I gonna do? Oh no. Oh no, I forgot what I was gonna do. Oh, oh, no, I remember now. I'm gonna level up. <clears throat> do, 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 use item. Yay, 200. <laughs> yes, I was gonna die, but it's that's not something I'm planning on. That's more of a an accepted inevitability. I think this is what I want. <coughs> I think that should be enough. If not, that's close. Oh no, it's not even close. Okay, well, whatever. I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh. Ice cream is so good, but it's also so cold right now here that, like, I don't know that I could eat ice cream. Oh, but my birthday! My birthday is on Monday, and I'm going to, um, I'm gonna have a birthday party with a couple of friends over, and I'm gonna bake a cake. I'm gonna make probably, so, like, my, like, signature cake is a banana cake with cream cheese icing. Um, thank you. I feel like I should go kill things before, rather than wasting an item. Maybe I'm just going to waste an item. I'm just going to waste an item. Guys, I'm wasting the item. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for me to waste an item? I don't know. But yeah, maybe I'll have ice cream with that. Hmm... I could, if I really wanted to, drive out to Wegmans and get fancy ice cream. But I don't think I need to do that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I am going to level up. Okay, so is my dexterity at the, like, won't... Okay, no, but it's... No, dexterity is still, still totally doing things. What's the point where dexterity about, like, like, what's it called? Not all balances out. It's a, a thing. It does something else. I think that's right. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay, cool. We're almost there. Almost there. We've almost got all the sweet moves you can have. And now we're gonna need them. Alright, you guys ready to die? Are you in fact <coughs> prepared to die? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, if any of you haven't watched me play before, <laughs> I am not um, a smooth player. God, those are loud. Okay. So we're going to go to Ash Lake and die a whole bunch. It's going to be great. We're going to die on our way down. Hey, you remember how, like, I had this, like, cr crazy mad dash up? when I finally gave up on the Hydra in Ash Lake and I was like screaming the whole way up but we somehow managed to avoid dying even though like everything was running after us and I was like ah, that was a very dignified situation I don't know where this is going there's no earthly way of knowing oh no No, they're here. I don't want them to be here. Anything else I feel like I could handle. What is that? Is that sparkling? Is that my bonfire? No, no. No, no. Yep. I don't want to go down there. But I bet I've got to. Jeez. Hi, Ella. 
Come on, Belle. You want to come get snuggles? You want to come get kitty snuggles? Hmm. Brenneman. There's a hard thing here that I don't want to have to fight. Is that my bonfire over there? Yeah, but I feel like I can run away from the mushrooms. I don't think I can run away from these guys. I think I'm just going to die and get cursed. That's the thing. It's like the mushrooms are only so bad, but these guys are way worse. They're so bad. No, 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 no. This is bad news for Lauren. I don't remember how to fight you because it's been That is one way of dealing with it, Lauren. Okay. Well, we did that. <coughs> running, 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 <laughs> dying, running, getting covered in a cat. I don't, uh oh, I don't know that I would count that as a treasure hunting. Oh, yes, I see. Okay. I appreciate that you're giving me credit for that. Uh, very expert. Okay, come on. Duck. Duck! Duck and go under it! No, you can't. Okay. Okay, there's gotta be a way. No, that's not it. Okay, there's gotta be a way down. Somewhere, somehow, there's gotta be a way down. Maybe. Duck? Duck? Yeah, I know. Like, I can't... Can I, can I do that? Do I want to do that? Does that take me anywhere? Is there something else I can do that doesn't involve basilisks? Why am I here? Because your alternatives are going to dark hell, fire hell, city of the damned, or uh, nightmare silent hell land. Okay, well, I'm glad to know that Sims is being awesome. Thing is, though, like, so, like, my, my fear is not of enclosed spaces, so I'm not afraid of this place. <coughs> I hear you. I know you're there. I don't want to have to deal with you. Could you maybe not? H has it occurred to you to maybe not turn me to stone? I see you. I don't like you. You could maybe not. Yeah, no, the City of the Damned is not good. I wonder if I could maybe just, like, jump down and avoid some things. And then just heal a little bit. If I can, is there any way I can fall that I can take a little damage? Oh, no, Sotaki. That's why I always keep my bread in the freezer. Because bread is so full of air that it actually doesn't suffer much at all in the freezer. And it, it cooks up really, really quickly. Like, you just toast it and it goes to normal pretty much. Um, and I cannot eat enough <clears throat> bread in a week for it to not go moldy, especially because I like good bread. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. 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 What if I... Nope. Well, there we go. Yeah, my cats, um, this one doesn't, but, uh, Knox really likes to eat bread. Okay, um, <coughs> Brandon, if you're there, could you, could you give us a, oh, hi, Android. <laughs> There's a sexy death that's going to be Android. Um, yeah, I know, right, Nick? Because I don't know that I'm ever going to get them back. Um, Brandon, if you're there, could you give me a death plus? Otherwise, I can give myself a death plus. I'm just like, yeah. Oh, I know rolling peanut shell because you know that that bread. Hey, Tiga, thank you. That makes me feel good, actually. Because you kind of like, I can't help wondering, like, like, did people give up on me? Are people like, Lauren's never coming back? Because I had like, oh, was there another thing I can jump to? Is there a thing I can jump to that doesn't involve, hmm... I don't think I can do that jump. Let's not do that. It's the basilisks. I just don't want to deal with them. 
you know? Just don't want to deal with them. Would just really rather not. Um. Hold on. What's in there? I guess there must have been something in here earlier. <coughs> yeah. Oh, hey. So that's where I died last. <coughs> uh, well, I mean, I guess... Sure. Look at this whomping 2,000 souls. I was going to say something and I forgot what it was because I was like, man. Oh my god, Tigachu, that's a good one. <laughs> yes! Oh, nice. The punning, the pun off has begun. I am pleased. I don't even really do puns, but I love the fact that other people that I know do puns. It makes me very happy. Let's see. Oh, hey, look, there's another thing I haven't gotten. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, Oop. Uh. Ahem. <clears throat> okay, that's obviously not going to happen. Uh, is there somewhere I can jump to and only take partial damage? Because I will totally skip this place and take partial damage. If that's an option. Oh no, I'm back here. Uh. Okay. Well, um... Um... <laughs> No! Whoa! That was close. I want to skip the basilisks. Though. What if I just skipped the basilisks, though, you know? Like, what if I just did? What if I was just like, nah, you know? What do you think? Would that just be like, yeep? Oh my god, okay, Tom, that's pretty great. Yep. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Doop. <laughs> Fancy footwork. <laughs> <sighs> yes, Brenneman is stream dad. I, I can be a <clears throat> I can be a stream mom. Okay. Thank you, Nick. I actually did that partially intentionally. Okay. So now there's a ladder. Where is that gonna take me? Are we still in Basilisk territory? Or are we going to be in Mushroom territory? Or are we going to be, I'm going to hang out on this ladder and take a bathroom break territory? <laughs> I'm honestly kind of tempted to just do that. Because <laughs> uh, I could probably use some more water too um, so that I don't cough. How is that? We're going to stay here in this precarious position. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Where's my beer back? Look, I have a high luck stat. <laughs> Which means that when I fail, I fail spectacularly. No, tree hell is not as bad. Yes, it is. It's a stretch break. Look, listen. Listen to stream dad. Brenneman knows what he's talking about. Brennamania is telling us to stretch. We should stretch. Arms over your head. Up, up. Up and to the side. Ow, 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 ow. And the other side. Doop, 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 doop. Oh my god. All right. I 
we'll be right back. I need to make like an actual be right back thing. But I've been saying I'm going to make a be right back thing for like at least a year. Okay, Craig, well, that's, that counts. That counts. You should stretch the rest of you too, though. All right, be right back.
All right, friends, I'm back. <clears throat> Sorry, no warning. All of a sudden, my voice is in your ears. <coughs> All right. Well, it's good to know that I can apparently incinerate those guys in one hit. You know what the mushroom's going to say when he stubbed his toe? Take that, Lauren. You sure are dead. <laughs> Alright. We are Zidar. We want to get back to Ash Lake because our alternatives are bad. And I don't want to go to them. There's going to be more basilisks here. Yes, I see you. Uh. Okay. No, you can just run away from them. They'll slowly pursue you. And smash you to death. Okay, where do I want to go? There. Oh god, there's a bunch of them. Guys. But once I get there, I can warp, right? Hmm. There's like some, some like really dramatic thing with like, like I'm all blurry in the foreground. Where am I trying to get to though? I know, but I can't warp to Ash Lake until I go down there. Apparently I didn't use the Ash Lake bonfire for some... I thought I did though. Because I fought that Hydra a whole bunch and I swear I didn't come all the way down. Is this one not dead? Or it, it is dead, okay. Oh no! Oh no! That is a good point, Armored Gorilla. <clears throat> no, there's more. There's more. I hear you! Where are you, buddy? I stabbed your friends. I'll stab you too. Just you wait and see. way down. There. That looks like a way down, doesn't it? Huh. No. <clears throat> no prisoners. Yes. Isn't there a plunging attack in this game? I mean, now I don't want to do a plunging attack. Can I, like, throw, like, poop down there on him or something like that? I don't know what to do now. He's kind of... Oh, wait, there's two of them? No, there's just the one. <coughs> okay, well, you're moonwalking at the wall. That's really not what I want. Is there another way down, maybe? Hmm. Wishful thinking. I know. But maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Just maybe, maybe. I don't remember how to slide down a ladder, and I don't want to just jump on him and then die. Is there a thing inside of there? Did I do that? Did I go inside of whatever this is? Is that doable? Can you go inside of that? I don't know. I mean, I mean, I am inside of a tree, so I guess you can't go inside the tree that's inside the tree, you know? Like, that just seems like that gets to be too meta.
Yes, Flutie Bot. I stretched and had some water. <coughs> My goodness, he sure is belching a lot down there. Hold the roll button to slide. He wants to kill me so badly. No, no, no. What's the let go button? No, 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 no. Nox, I'm stuck. That's not helpful, Lauren. Okay, well, I think I might have those equipped. I do have those equipped. My last one. <coughs> I was almost at Mushroom Land, too. Okay, well, now we have to do all that over again, which kind of sucks. I'm feeling slightly disheartened. But, I can take Basilisks. I have taken Basilisks. I can do it again. You think you can get me basilisks? I mean, you're probably right, but I can also get you. Ha! 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 I know, but it, those are scary. Why is there so much scary stuff in this game? Why can't it just be like, everybody hangs out in his friends' souls? Oh, goodness gracious me. Don't, don't. Don't get cocky. Yes. I don't know what that accomplished. I don't know if that accomplished anything, actually, now that I think about it. Didn't I have the same problem last time? What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Where am I going? Can I go somewhere from here? Is this all just... I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do. Maybe I can just, like... Mm, I just want to go down the tree! Tree! Nox is mad because I didn't pet her. Oh, now what? Boing! No, 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 no. 
Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, no, no, no. Okay, well. <coughs> 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 Yeah, I came down here way earlier than I should have, you see. And I, uh, had a lot of trouble. Now I'm here probably when I should. I'm having slightly less trouble. Look at me tromping fearlessly about. Look at that. This is a tromping Lauren. Yeah. Tromp, 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 tromp. Tromp, tromp, tromp. Oop. That was too much tromping. All right. Yeah. I can do it. I can do it. I can take you out. I mean, you can also take me out. But I can do it. What if I glitch the game like that and I don't have any more homeward bones? Maybe I should get some more. I think I used them all with Ornstein and Smoth. So... Smoog -moog -moog -moog. Why is English weird? I know Sirtaki and it will kill me too. Um, I am usually a cautious player, but I have apparently entered the point of the game. Oh, I've done that. I have, um, I did at one point, when I came down here way earlier than I should have, I totally had a, then, uh, the screaming run up. Um, it was terrible. But I do have warping now. So I don't have to do that this time. Presumably. Let's get away from that. Oh, that sounds dreadful, though. Look, I love English. Like, I love the language, just like unreservedly. But it's also got some problems. Like, is that guy dead? Yes. <coughs> Thank you, Brenneman. Brenneman, a man, a mania. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay smart. Be careful. Be cautious. No, 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 no. Don't get breathed on. Don't get breathed on. Don't get breathed on, Lauren. Kill him. Okay. There's one more. I can hear him. There he is. Just get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. Okay. All right. This place is a lot less ridiculous if you're actually closer to the level you're supposed to be. You know? Like, basilisks are still scary, but they're a lot less scary when you can one-hit kill them. You know? Okay. <coughs> I did actually go to the area below before, and I got very upset because I couldn't proceed. And so there was this amazing something going on there, and I didn't know what it was. And it was driving me crazy. But we're going to go down and we're going to figure it out. We are going to run away from the mushrooms. Oops, that was not intentional. We're going to walk slowly and awesomely away. Yeah, I stumbled in here like when I first went to the swamp. And then I died to the Hydra about 30 times. I'm not exaggerating. So you don't have to fight. The little guys don't mess with you, right? <coughs> right? Oh, no, they totally will. Yeah, no, they totally will. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Nope. 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 
Nope, nope, no! Yeah. Well, I found Ash Lake without help. I just, um... Oh, jeez, no. Are they gonna follow me? I thought I lit that bonfire. Did I not? Okay, so guys, I never did figure out. I don't think hugging is quite what they want. Like this, like, is this like the world? Don't tell me. Is this the world tree? Is this like the root of everything? You know? Like what? I mean, this is, this is, there's something incredibly significant and special about this place. You know? Oh no, 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 please don't kill me. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <sighs> hmm? What opening? Mm. See, like... I, wasn't this what prompted me to make intro video so we could watch the intro video? <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 But yeah, when I, when I ask questions like that, I don't actually want the answers. Um, I try to figure it out. But I do remember, I'm pretty sure this is, I made another character whose name is Intro Video, so we could watch the intro video together. And it was, I think, at least in part because of this place. So this is like the place at the beginning of time. And the fact that it's ash, in my opinion, is really significant because there's something about fire. And it's okay, Tim. The importance of fire in the lore of Dark Souls like, cannot be overstated, as far as I can tell. Oh my god, he did such a good job with this soundtrack. It only periodically sounds like him. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna die. Hey, are you guys ready for me to die another 30 times? Are you okay with that? Are you ready? Are you prepared? Actually... Hold up. A thought has occurred to me. You know, you, you know a place is really important when you can hear, when there's, when there's music. I don't know that this is going to work in... Hmm... Velka, the goddess of sin, makes me very uncomfortable. This is the great rage of influence, even as gods are concerned. Like, what did you do, Velka? What did you do? <coughs> Not good. I can promise you that. Hmm. I kind of want to go get some chocolate instead of fighting this. But I think I should actually fight it. Oh, that's probably not going to be good. It's probably not good. Oh, yeah, 
that they really annoying. <laughs> Torch to burn off the heads. Yeah, I know, right? Hmm. No, not combustion. Plain and simple fireball. There we go. <laughs> <coughs> All right, well, shall we do this, friends? I like the feeling that instead of water, it's nothing down there. But I'm, no, no. I can't actually tell. No, I think it is water. Will you die if you touch it? No, no, because you can go in on the other side. Never mind. Sorry. I'm just going to ask some dumb questions. I hope that's all right. Well, I thought maybe the chaos fire would be significant. God. Like, so this is, this is the ash that caused, that came from something burning. There are pearls. I think I had problems with them. All right, well, shall we try to fight this Hydra? Is this the right shield? Is this the best shield I have? <coughs> God, it's been such a long time since I fought a Hydra. I don't remember what I'm doing. Come on. That's right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hi. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Thank you, shield. My shield is definitely better than it had been. Yeah, ha 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 ha! My shield is better. Come on. Come on, buddy. Stick one of your heads down here. Stick all of your heads down here. Come on. I mean, or you could do that too. Wow. God, my shield is good. Holy crap, my shield is good. Come on, buddies. Come on, buddies. No, that's not what I want you to do. Come here. Come here. Come on, friends. Come on. Stab into the ground with your heads. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Oh, jeez. Hitbox. Okay. buddy. Come here, buddy. Come on. Do it. 
Do it. Do it! <sighs> Don't go into the water, Lauren. I would be friended if I could, but I already know I can't. <clears throat> Where am I? Did I just get knocked away? Soon you're going to start flying, aren't you? Hey, Blues. No, you haven't missed tons. Did you have a good dinner? <sighs> Please don't be in the water. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, this one is majestic and powerful. It's moving faster. <sighs> that was close. <sighs> okay, so I want to be on your side here because that's where this this one is. <sighs> Come here. Okay, well, first of all, I was decidedly high level or low level last time. <laughs> How many times did I die to that thing before? Like, what happened? Is my gear that much better? Am I that much higher level? Like, did I just commit an unspeakable act of sin? I don't know. I don't even know how to feel about this, you know? I didn't even use an Estus once. Yeah, my shield definitely makes a huge difference. Oops. Please don't die. Alright, Lauren, don't die. And yet everybody then tells me that gear doesn't matter. Maybe. There's 
got to be something more here. So I have dragon scales. I just... Okay, I don't remember what to do about you, friend. Maybe I'll just leave you be. How does that sound? Hi, buddy. Hello, friend. I'm sorry, with that music still going, it's just incredibly surreal. Like, I just defeated a boss quite handily that defeated me so many times, you know? And now what? Now what can I learn or do that I couldn't learn or do before? Ash Lake, what's your secret? Oh, you're probably right, Handyman. I probably did do a lot more damage this time. No questions asked on you. Sorry, buddy. Is that back into Great Hollow? Huh. I wonder if that's a shortcut out. Probably would have done me some good last time I played this section. But I was busy screaming while the Hydra jumped overhead. Okay, well we'll come back here and take a look at what's inside there once we're done with investigating. This doesn't look important. Oh my god. Hey, Krabby. Whatever, Krabby. You're fine. As long as you're not running after me, we're good. No, I'm pretty sure he's a clam. But you can't call somebody clammy the way you call them Krabby. My mom used to call me Lammy when I was a little girl. I should call my sister Hammy, so we were Hammy and Lammy. At least it made sense with me because my name is Lauren. Yes. Yeah, no, they're remaking this game, which is hard to imagine, but... Am I going into the forest? Am I in the... Am I in the for... Like, I feel like I'm not even supposed to be here. You know? Like... <sighs> like, I feel like I shouldn't run. You know? <sighs> like, that would be disrespectful. I'm actually going into the forest. Is that a dragon? Here's the bonfire. <gasps> I'm really curious to know what this one is called. Please don't kill me. I feel like... I feel like the, uh appropriate thing to do here. Mm. 
apparently I was on the right track. to talk to you but I suppose one doesn't simply converse with a dragon you're not really as majestic as one might hope <coughs> but you are fuzzy and you do have wings What are you doing here? I thought... I thought... I thought the dragons were all... I thought they were all killed! So why is it plural? Are there others? I just see the one. With four wings. I probably forgot blue since it's been so long. Well. Well. Oh, hello, blues. Yes, no, something seems very wrong with it. I mean, it's not just me. It's missing a horn. And it stands still. Mm. Well, and then it's strange, though. I'm one of the undead. Supposedly fulfilling a quest laid by Lord Gwyn, praying to the dragons. But the option to enter a dragon covenant, that right there seems as though it would throw the entire... I wonder if this is like Valkyrie profile. Hmm. Hmm. Now there's a thought. What if I have played Valkyrie Profile? It's been a long time and I never got the true ending. I would be happy to play it again though. I'm not done dead that we're doing something dragon related. That sounds vaguely familiar. Wait, is that the big guy? Is that Gwyn's blacksmith? Maybe I'll have to go back and look at that. It's okay, Clammy, you can keep sleeping. You're good. Oh! Oh, traitor friend! Well, let's go investigate this little hole in the wall. Hopefully not regret it too heavily. <coughs> I'm sorry, I've still got a bit of a cough. It's just like, it seems without a doubt that Gwyn and his companions... Oh, right. Are good, you know? At, at least in the intro section. Although thinking about it. Oh yeah, no, I definitely angered the crabs, but they didn't follow me. They're not going to come here after me. I don't think. So where is this? Interesting. So the intro video is, is incorrect then. Oh no. Oh no, buddy. No, buddy, no. What if I just don't? Huh? What if I just don't? Oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh no, no, no! What's through here? Where am I? 
Oh. Just... Oh, wow. Okay. So the whole point of that place is to set you up to get punched by a mushroom, huh? Or was there something else in there? Let's take another look. I have a healthy fear of those mushrooms, you know? But see, Sirtaki, some games don't play with that, and I don't know whether this game is one of them. That! I want that. I don't know what it is or how to get there. Um. No. How do I get there? Oh, he's coming. I still can't believe I defeated the Hydra so easily. And like, so the Hydra was clearly... So does that mean that the Hydra that was guarding Dusk was the creation of the uh, dragons? And Hmm. I really, 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 really want to know more about Dusk's people. How on earth do I get up there? How on earth? Like, do, do you... Do you have to climb from another place? That is a question. Like, can you access it from this area? Because I assume it's not a Mario reference. And you're not gonna, like, jump on the mushroom's head to get there. Although that would be pretty great. A bad decision, given that this is not a platforming game. <coughs> is there another way up? Even the tree looks like a hydra. The hydra's... Hmm... <coughs> Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you could give me a little hint, like, if, like, do I have what I need to get in there? Like, down here? Like, or do I have to do something, like, go through another door or another place to get there? Interesting. Oh no, mushroom. Oh no, mushroom, no. What if I just set you on fire, a whole bunch of mushroom? You know, never mind. On second thought, maybe I just won't. Is he still following me? That is a good hint. I'll have to figure it out. No, I don't want to jump into the water. That seems like a recipe for disaster. <gasps> He's still there. Okay. All right, buddy. Oh my god, I didn't realize that they're completely covered in blood. I mean, in hindsight, that should not really be surprising at all. Okay, so we're going to go up, and we're going to take a look. We're going to scope things out while Mushroom Man is not in there. Oop. 
Well, at least theoretically, Mushroom Man is not there right now. Yeah, like, if you're, like, observant, you're like, wait a minute, these guys are not a good thing for me. So, you can go down to go up, huh? Like, this doesn't look like a good way to go. Maybe I will just fireball him so I don't have to worry- sorry. So I don't have to worry about this. <clears throat> I mean, I know it's gonna take all of my fireballs. didn't see that one coming. God, I, why am I... Why am I so stressed? I don't know why I am. Brenneman, if you're there, I died again. In a very stupid way. I'm embarrassed to be seen by the dragon. I still haven't seen the new Star Wars. I also haven't seen Wonder Woman. My goodness. I should probably watch some of the movies that are like cultural touchstone. Yeah, no, like I shouldn't be here. Like the moment I set foot here, I was like, this is not a place that I belong, you know? Well, Flute Mom is gonna try. We're gonna do this. Do you have a hole down there, buddy? No, I don't think you do. I think you're just kind of chilling. Okay, buddy. I'm not gonna mess with you. Thanks, Brenneman. Mm. But how does one go down then? Oh, man. Such a good hint. Hmm. That's what I've heard, Tim, and I'm looking forward to it. Oh my god, this song is so good. I just, like, I had forgotten how incredibly stressful playing this game is. Okay. Now we want to get out of the way before Mr. Mushroom comes here. We're gonna get this stuff. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> do you wanna come punch me, don't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Come on. Come here. I know you wanna punch me to death. Believe me, I know. So these ones are faster and go farther. And do almost as much damage as the uh, big ones. So we're gonna just do this. <sighs> 
That is a really unfortunate bit of ragdolling. Oh, look at your little feet! All right, buddy. Now we're gonna investigate. Yeah, let's hope we don't plummet plummet to our death. That doesn't look doable. You know, I don't know that you can get down there. I'm pretty sure that that's water and then you die. I don't want that. <clears throat> oh, believe me, I, I believe in the shroom's power. I did just die to it, if you'll recall. up and take another look, shall we? Oh, you're dead. Okay. I was about to get really scared. Okay. Oh my god. I cannot even imagine playing this game with one death. Like, I mean, I think probably a quarter of the deaths I have right now were on Ornstein and Smo because I didn't want to have to summon help. You know? It's a little hard to tell whether any of these places are safe to go jumping onto and then crawling around in. <laughs> Blues, you made the game harder for yourself, did you? Yeah, this doesn't look like it's the right direction. Alas. Good thought, though. Nice try. E for effort, Lauren. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> I guess you know you've played too much of a game when you're artificially trying to increase the challenge of a game known for being challenging. I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> Maybe it's not here immediately. But if not here, then where? <sighs> Let's approach this intelligently. Yes, don't change into a hollow. None of us wish to see you go hollow. See, it looks like I can go up there, but I don't think I can go up there. Um, and you can't go up that one, because that one's also way in the water. Oh my god, I'm so bad at Tetris. I feel like I should just play Tetris on stream one day just to show you guys. Alright, Blues, if you don't mind giving me another hint. Hinny Morrow, thank you for following. Yeah, I don't know about... The way forward is on that branch I was on. Oops. There was a branch. Hmm. Not this one, obviously. That one's too short. That's not a branch. Yeah, this one's a branch. So it is! It is! Okay, I wondered. 
man, am I gonna have to platform? Not there. That's too precise. If it requires that level of skill, there's no way I'll be able to do it. So the only place that you can... Oh, that's an open hollow! Oh, it is! I thought it might be. Got it. Thank you. I saw it earlier. But I thought it wasn't it. Okay. I couldn't quite tell what it was. Alright, let's see what this is. Please be lore. That sounds like lore. Please be lore. Please be lore. Please be lore. That's all I want. Is lore. Hmm. Bishop? 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 Hold up. That's news. Sworn enemy of Seath the Scalus. Sorry, buddy. I might have cast some fireballs on you while I fought you. Yes! No, apparently he was a bishop. But Seath the Scalus... I mean, the problem is, like, when somebody's willing to betray their side, you can never really trust them to be on your side. Hmm. I mean, I'm way not miraculous enough to use this. But still. Okay. So Havel and Seath were on the same side. Because of Gwyn. Oh, well, Tim, I'm glad to give that to you. Good night, rolling peanut shell. So that right there actually implies some degree of infighting isn't the right word. But... <coughs> Like, it can't be coincidental that they don't tell you he's a bishop. What else do we know about him? Havel the Rock. See, he's not a bishop. Faith in their leader. See, they, they make a point that he's an old battlefield compatriot. So then he must be... Hmm... What did you guys do? I'm pretty sure... And I'll actually be kind of disappointed if this, if this doesn't happen. I am pretty sure, my friends, that... Um, no, unfortunately, Tim, I don't know the original joke. So I, I, I can't laugh at that one because I don't know what it's referencing. I'm pretty sure that the world is wrecked because of some sort of petty human infighting. Which, I mean, I'd kind of figured that... Let's see, okay. So, to recap, Lauren's running theory... But why is Havel's magic down here and there's a dragon? Did they decide to go fight the dragons even though they'd already won against the dragons? Was that from the earlier battle? Was... Was Havel there for that? Oh, man. I don't... I don't understand. Okay, so... Lauren's running theory is that the universe is screwed up because the Witch of Chaos created Chaos Flames. But I don't think that she created the Chaos Flame for a bad reason. Like, I suspect my theory, and I might be wrong actually, because she might have done it to try to prevent, like, like, I guess it really depends on cause and effect. Like, if it turns out that, the, that like, she made it so that they could try to undo the effect of, um, the world dying, and so she's like, okay, well, I'll make a new flame. Because the old one's going out. That'd be one thing. But I actually kind of wonder whether it isn't... Um, who here's played Shadow Hearts? 
Wait, is that a skull? Or is that just a weird shaped rock? Kind of looked like it had eye holes. Oh, wait, no! I'm pretty sure you'll eat me and that's bad. No, no! I'm sorry, buddy. I probably should have just let you go. Oh. Welp. Oh. Okay. You are a weird critter. Okay, well. This is a skull, guys. This looks like a dragon skull, doesn't it? <laughs> nice DX man. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. Can you go into that? Oh! Hey, Maru, the lore is the reason why I play the game. Honestly. You know, if you have to attack the dragon to get the other lore item, then the other lore item can go, go to hell. Um, and if you have to sign up for the dragon side of things. Well, I'm thinking about it. I am considering that possibility because... Yeah, well, I just wonder with the skull. It's, it's clearly, a, it looks like a dragon skull. But yeah, so my theory, my theory is, and it's been changing a bunch. <coughs> okay, so the pieces that we know, for those keeping score, for those who just got here, um, as I'm trying to construct the backstory of this game, and there's clearly a very, like, Greek pantheon problem going on with, like, so there's Gwyn, and I don't know, actually, if Gwyn has, I assume Gwyn has a wife. Um, because there is a statue of a woman holding a baby um, in the shrine next to what had been the the um, Solaire's god, the uh, the fallen sun deity. Because um, there's like the the um, church shrine, and then there's the the destroyed statue. But there's like a woman holding a child, so I assume that that's Gwyn's wife, who curiously enough has never shown up anywhere that I've seen. Um, so that's odd. I think she exists. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, but so Gwyn had three children. Um, the eldest, I believe, was the old god of war who committed some unspeakable crime and was stricken from the annals of history. But he's still out there, apparently, looking after his dudes. And so Lara's on a quest to find him. <coughs> then there's Guinevere, um, the sister, who I think is the middle child, and she's giant, and seems to be in on, um, Framp's amusement park ride that's become a god adventure, um, which is weird, and it's weird because you, like, she just, like, like nothing is wrong, she's very, like, perfect. Um, and then you like talk to like the other affected family members that you can talk to and you're just like, whoa, things are screwed up. And then there's the dark moon. Um, so what I think happened is I think that, and it all comes down to these items here. Or maybe I don't have it on me. <coughs> um, there's, um, oh, maybe I don't have it on me. The, uh, the ear thing. Anyway, there's a, th there's a thing that makes me think that the, um... 
Yes. Gwendolyn Darkmoon, who we don't know the gender of, um, who is the youngest, I think, who hunts sinners. So what I think happened, and I might be wrong here, um, but what I think happened is that um, for some reason, um, Gwyn's son, the god of war, uh, did something he wasn't supposed to. And for that, he was determined to be a sinner. And so his youngest sibling was sent after him. And he, I think, killed his youngest sibling um, out of self-defense and killing, like being a sinner and then killing a god, like that was enough to just be like, okay, you are out. I wonder, and this is probably because I am way too melodramatic, but I'm, I'm really like, how do the witches of chaos, the daughters of chaos fit into this? Um, and so I don't know how many sisters we, I mean, we know of three sisters. I don't know how many sisters there were because there's the mom and then there's, um, our fair lady. Um, there's Quilag and then there's the one that you can speak to. Um, and she kind of indicates that like her mom was like, I'm going to do this crazy thing. And she was like, uh, peace out. And all the rest of her sisters got turned into spider things. So, probably a good idea to say peace out. <coughs> but I, Quilana, that's it. Thank you. I am this. Is, so this is built on absolutely nothing but conjecture at this point. Like this is purely me going off of like trying to make a plot between these two families because there's definitely, like, they are, they are definitely that they are the two stories. Is how and why did the Witch of Chaos decide to create the Chaos Flame? And, like, what what even happened with Gwyn's family? Um, so I think that there might have been perhaps some sort of a romantic thing between the God of War and one of the Daughters of Chaos. And I think that perhaps the Daughter of Chaos died or something like that. Somebody, I think that somebody important died and the Witch of Chaos decided to try to create a way to bring them back. Which is where the Shadow Hearts thing comes in. Shadow Hearts is like, guys, please don't bring people back from the dead. It never works. And everyone's like, no, we're, we got this. We got this. We can do this. What? It didn't work again? Oh, if only somebody had told us this was a bad idea. <clears throat> so, so I think that somebody died and the Chaos Flame was created to try to bring them back. But instead, I think that set off the curse. Um and started destroying the world because the world cannot have a, a true flame and a false flame. Um, and that's why everything is crumbling um, and the world is falling apart. And so now they're like, hey, you know what a good solution to this problem would be? Let's repeat history. Yeah, we'll just like get any undead passing through. Uh, it sort of worked for Roger Bacon. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Although I will say they, um, they're like one of the scenes with Alice in Covenant is amazing. And then when you finally see the scene with Johnny's sister in to, to the new world, which is not a good game, but Johnny's story has good bits. Um, <clears throat> uh, anyway, like bringing the dead back to life is a bad idea generally. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm kind of feeling like, um, haha, <laughs> Yeah, I, I've thought about Ivy. I've had a lot of people um, ask me if I'll get into, um, if, if I'll kind of dig into the lore on stream and talk about it. I've even actually thought about reaching out to one of the lore guys. Um, I, I think maybe Vati, because we've got a lot of mutual friends. I don't know that he would have time, but it might be interesting um, to, to, to ask, maybe. Because um, <coughs> the rest of my Dark Souls friends, as far as I can tell, aren't super into the lore. But he's a friend of friends and, and is. Um, but I I don't know. And I know that I like I know like there was like literally nothing. Literally nothing to indicate that there might be um, a connection between the families. Like nothing that um, Quilana has said had anything to do with Gwen's family that I think of. Um, but I don't know. Something's something's wrong. And I, for some reason I thought so the girl who was sent to the painted world. Wait, 
with all of the terrible, awful creatures that were created that look like mad science experiments by Seath the Scaleless. I mean, those are clearly Seath the Scaleless's mad scientist creations in the painted world. Like, I bet that I'm going to go up to his, like, like Silent Hill Horror Hospital and I'm going to find more things just like that. And I'm going to be like, yes, these are his people. Okay, you guys ready for something, something random? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. We're on a roll. Okay, well, what if she's his daughter? Who would Seath the Scaleless have had a child with? And, and like, I mean, Tim, like, you want to talk about everybody having particular ways they want to interpret it? Um, I obviously have a very, 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 like, interpersonal relationship drama bias. Like, that's where I find story. That's where I look for stories. So, <coughs> <coughs> instead of being like, this event happened, I'm like, well, this person... Okay, I, well, I saw, I've actually seen Vati's video on Pinwheel. That's the only thing on Vati I know. And I don't know where Pinwheel is, or if he's from this game, or from the second game, or what. But I saw that, and it was really cool. Um... Because my friends were like, you should watch this. And I was like, I think I'm going to have nightmares now. And they were like, you should play Dark Souls. And I was like, no. That was like five years ago. <laughs> or four years ago or something. So I guess I guess times change. Um, but... No, but but it specifically says Stolen Light that she's a, she's a crossbreed. We got that. So if not um, a partner, then he certainly, if it is his child, used some sort of humanoid DNA. So perhaps he created himself a daughter. Or perhaps he created himself a bride of Frankenstein and she wanted none of it. But I think I think more Yeah, but see, for me, historical drama is interpersonal drama. If you look at history, it's all full of who got who got mad at whom and why. So... Well, it's okay, Blues. I, like I said, I, I know that I'm taking some major leaps here. But okay. So maybe Seath created this girl. And she was miserable. And maybe he had this world that he built. And she found this doll in his mad science place and went there and was like, Oh, good, I can get away from my crazy dad. Um, since it does appear that dragons are fuzzy. He's scaleless. Hmm. Hum. I mean, okay, so if we want to go, like... <clears throat> no, it's true. Creation myths aren't about interpersonal anything, necessarily. Um... <coughs> I mean, it, it kind of depends. A lot of it has to do with um, the, just the simple fact that, like, our understanding of human nature and psychology has changed so much that, like, the creation myths of a time, like, reflect kind of, like, the way people thought about human nature and stuff back then. Um, like, reading Greek myths are really interesting because, like, there's a lot of humanity in their pantheon. Um, God, what is the, like, the absolute creation myth? Like, I mean, even if you think back on, like, Zeus exists because his dad got really mad at the thought of one of his kids overflowing him, so he ate all of them. And then da then um, Zeus's mom was like, well, that sucks. I'll give you a rock instead of this son, and this son will grow up strong. And then Zeus was like, all right, dad, I'm strong and awesome, and I'm going to punch you and rip open your stomach and take out all of my siblings. Bye. So, um, like... And so if you look at, um, and like, I, I don't know Hawaiian folklore very well, but there's a lot of interpersonal stuff there too. That's really interesting. Um, oh no, I think I'm about to drop my, my internet just went red. If I drop, I'm sorry guys. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> but this has characters in the beginning. Maybe we have the sun, the sky, and the earth, or maybe we have the sky and the ocean, and then they create the earth together. Like, and like those tend not to be the people, but this—that's not where we are. We are, we are, we are a step beyond that. We we have the titans versus the gods, um. Because like even like the Egyptians, you have um nuts and I'm trying to remember, but you have like the sky, 
and the ground. Um, and they, like, their thing is that they're in love. But then, like, you start getting into anything else, pretty much anything else. And it's, like, Osiris versus Set and stuff. So, yeah. Um, not as much as I'd like to, Ruha. But I wound up, I'm, so the thing is, my, one of my bandmates, her grandfather passed away, and she's been having a rough time of it. So my other bandmate and I are going to arrange a song for her, and we're going to record it. And she really likes Sonic and stuff, so we thought maybe we'd do that. But we're actually going to make a Star Wars song for her because she likes Star Wars. So um, we'll work on that when we get a chance. <coughs> but yeah, so like the in the beginning part, like that can be its own thing. And then there was the flame. But then there's an entire cast of characters and suddenly there's drama and somebody's mad at somebody and somebody slept with somebody else's wife. And next thing you know, like, we're like missing eyes or setting off Ragnarok or like having all of our children try to murder us or like eating our spouses or any number of things like that. No, but, like, it almost goes out of its way to show us that they are characters. You know? Like, they're people with friends. Like, Gwyn has friendships. So. Like, he's got his buddies. Like, we can go through here and be like, these are buddies. I want to know what... Velka! Okay, Velka, did you, did you get, okay, did Velka get, did she seduce a couple of people and get them to fight each other? Hmm. Because it's not, in, in my opinion, it is not insignificant that Velka, the goddess of sin, is a rogue deity, so she's not aligned with anybody. Considered to have a great range, range of influence, even as gods are concerned. She did something. She definitely, definitely, definitely did something. If reading the lore means anything in this game, if like they actually put the detail in to make these things make sense, that's significant. Um, and I would say that the fact that Havel is a bishop is really interesting too. And the fact that he's the enemy of Seath the Scalus. So now I want to go to Seath's place. Because he's the only interpersonal lead I've got. I really feel like I'm not supposed to be here. You know? I guess I should go teleport. Well, you know, I can teleport here. I can teleport from anyone, right? I can teleport from any bonfire. What would happen? What would happen? If you, as a human, join sides with the dragons. I mean, you're an undead, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? Stone dragon. Ah, it's not very alive now, is it? Now, where shall we go? Not Firelink Shrine, because I don't have a firekeeper there. I don't really want to make anyone else a firekeeper. Like Dark Moon too. This is why I think that Dark Moon was um, was killed by um, by Sunlight Altar right here. You know, because it's the tomb of the Dark Moon. So the Dark Moon is dead, um, and I'm pretty sure that. And you, but you find the the um, you find the God of War's ring there, and his statue's been smashed. So. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to think on this. Where should we go? We've got about half an hour left before I shut down. <sighs> I kind of want to ask for these items. Yeah, no. I was I was looking at that earlier blues. I was I was hanging out there. So the chamber of the princess. She's just going to tell me the stuff that she's supposed to tell me. No acknowledgement of anything else that's gone on. Like, these are like the people that are significant. I mean, these ones are just convenient. I really want to know. I really want to know. Like, 
let's go to Anorlando. Okay, so I think normally, because I've thought about like, <laughs> well, thanks, Tim. I play every Thursday night, so um, if you want to come back and see whether I can do anything or know anything, um, I basically speculate and scream a lot is what I do. <sighs> okay, so... Mm, I know... Because I went around there and I tried going up there when these guys, big guys were scary and there was a closed, a sealed door there. So we're gonna just do this and hopefully not die. Um... So should I have Blues tell me about the girls' items? Look at how fearless I'm being. So proud of myself. Sorry, buddy. Leaving you in the dust. No. Need humanity, huh? Yeah! Try poison. Ha ha! Um, I'm about halfway to leveling. Sealed by the great lord's power. So this is probably where I want to do the lord vessel stuff. So that's probably plot. Which means the other stuff is optional. Which means I'm going to have to do it. Ugh! I don't want to! What if I just don't? I'm pretty sure I'm out of all of the places that I can go to that aren't Dark Hell or Fire Hell or World of the Damned. Wee! Bye bye. Do 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 Bye buddy. Yeah. Look at how fearless! I'm Lauren and I'm fearless! I'm not actually fearless. <clears throat> well, no, I mean, like, I can go to those horrible hellish hellscapes. Oh, wait, no, I don't have any divine weapons, so I can't go to the catacombs. Ugh. Do I get divine weapons from the blacksmith here? How do I get to the blacksmith here? No, well, there's dark hell and there's fire dark hell. <coughs> <coughs> um, I have poked my head into all three of those locations. They're horrible. Also, I don't like caves. <sighs> Stats on my sword? Okay. Oops. <laughs> um, I mean. Okay. That's not the right thing. Oh, wait. Equipment. Enter. Okay. Yeah, see, it's... I mean, I could probably stand to, f to, to fix it. Um, see, it requires me to be dexterous and strong, which I am. Yeah, dexterous and strong. I'm a Lauren. I'm a flute mom. Do, 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 do. Um, so, yeah. I think I did this right anyway. Yeah, no, sorry. I do not have a holy weapon, I don't think. Hi, Nox! So I might have to go to that dude. Oh, Sir Taki! Hey, Kraken, yes! Hello and welcome! Oh, man, how do I get back? What's the quickest and easiest way back to the Divine Blacksmith? 
Did he have anything? You no, know, I don't know. Is he going to have something else to say? I don't know. I know. I have sweet moves. Uh, no, I don't know that I know. I mean, I don't know him. He has no idea who I am. I just have friends that... I mean, if you don't already know, for seven years I was in a uh, video game cover band with Lobos Jr. And so you kind of get to know some of the Dark Souls people by proxy. So, Andre. Oh, Andre. Oh, I know Andre. I can get to Andre, right? Um, how do I get to Andre? How do I warp to Andre? I want to warp to Andre. Where is that? Oh, I know. Undead Parish. Yes. We're going to do it. Right? This will take me to his place. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm so glad that I found Onion Bro. Yeah. I mean, like, again, like, I don't know if they would count as connections because I don't know they would do anything. But, um, so don't go being like, hey, you know Lauren. He'll be like, who's that? Because he doesn't. And I don't actually usually use connections and stuff, but, um, I might ask politely, but I don't know what I could offer him. Show me that ember of yours. What ember? Well, I've never heard of a black ember. Hmm. How about leaving that ember with me? I find it strangely fascinating. Did I look at the ember? When did I get the dark ember? What is the dark ember? Oh, no. Is that an item that I got and I didn't look at, or did I look at it? Am I going to miss my opportunity? I mean, I guess I can just ask you guys to paste a description of the item to me. So I guess we're good. <coughs> <coughs> so he finds it strangely fascinating. Okay, so I found it in the painted world. Okay. <sighs> can I choose to give it to him again later if I change my mind? Because I want to look at it. Or is this like a one-time thing? Like, is this going to be Laurentius, or is this going to be something else? Mm, the true Dark Souls of Dark Souls is making decisions. I don't know. No, look, you should come visit me, baby cat. My cats are so depressed, I haven't been giving them up enough attention lately. I need to do that better. Okay. Let's take a look at this thing. Is that alright? Yeah, but I don't remember it. Maybe that would be good if I got it. I find Sigminer I found him in the swamp I gave him some moss and he complained about the swamp prior to that You're so cool, Andre. Okay. Okay, that is here. Dragon weapons. The transcend transcendent apostles who seek the per perpetuity of the ancient dragons. Ah, okay. So some undead are trying to make themselves immortal. Okay. Ah! The church long hid the forbidden black ember. Cult weapon. Ha! You can! Totally! You can totally side with the dragons, can't you? What? Does this game have branching endings? Oh my god. Hmm. So who hunted the gods? Who hunted the gods indeed? Hmm. No, I don't remember where I found the dark ember. It's been a month. Hey, remember when this place down here had a really angry neighbor and then I killed him by rolling around a lot? And it was exciting because I learned to roll and I was so proud of myself. Did I ever take down the one in uh, Sen's Fortress? Did I ever get rid of the uh, 
headless titanite demon. That's what they're called, right? Titanite demons. Andre, you're not supposed to take pieces off of your neighbor to forge into things. It's not very neighborly of you. Oh, I could go talk to Dusk. I could go talk to Dusk! That won't do me any good. But I could go do it. What does this say? Warning rock. Beware your forest. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think I did because they were sitting in a bunch of tar. Oh, man. So at this point, we don't have time for me to really tackle anything new. I'm going to talk to Andre. I won't give this to him, though, because I don't want him to go crazy. Show me that ember of yours. Well, I've never heard of a black ember. Hmm. How about leaving that ember with me? I find it strangely fascinating. He sounds evil. Uh, you sure? Well, or fair enough. It's is a pity, but I'll live. And then he like goes back to sounding normal. Oh yes. And one other thing about the dark. Maybe that's just his voice. It is said to house the grave of Sir Artorius, the Abyss Walker. Only of those who ventured into the forest, none has returned. Yeah. About that. Uh Okay, let's repair my equipment. Look at me, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna repair it. Yeah! Look at repaired. Look at repaired, yes. Sure, repair for eight souls. Yeah, I don't need those souls or anything. Uh, do 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 Yeah, no, in a game in which people go crazy, I can be legitimately concerned about people going crazy. You know? <coughs> so I don't think I need to modify my equipment do I oh what hold up I can make things divine I can I totally can what okay oh right oh right oh right oh right oh right Yes! Neither of us want to see you go hollow. The crestfallen knight did, and then I had to go follow him down to New Londo and fight him, and I was really not happy with that. Yeah, I got the Divine Ember from the blacksmith that had been turned to stone in the other optional area. What was the other optional area? Where did I go that I got that? Where was that? What was that? How do I not know any of these things? <laughs> Alright. So I have, an, I have an occult weapon. You're right. I just saw it there. It's a smashy smash. But it doesn't say anything about it being a cult. Okay. Behind the moonlight butterfly. Darker garden in the woods. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That sounds right. That was an easy fight because I brought the witch. Okay, so why is it a cult? Where did I find this? No. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I haven't been sleeping well in like three weeks. It's not good of me. Where did I find the occult club? I remember that I was excited about finding it. Who was trying to kill God? Where were they? <coughs> in a chest, but where? Was that in Anne Orlando? In the basement. With the, um, they had a, at least one, um, mimic box down there, I think. Um, I remember sneaking through this dark room and Havel, Havel's equipment was down there, wasn't it? Or am I conflating two rooms? Yes! But he was a bishop. And he hated Seath the Scaleless. Why would he, of all people, have a weapon to use against the gods? That's not an accident. 
or a coincidence? Hmm. He was locked in the watchtower. I thought because he'd gone hollow. But what if he turned on Gwyn and Gwyn locked him up and it said for his own good and it was it seemed like it was a pity thing. Yes, no, I have that key. I have that key. That key will tell me. Where is it? The tower key. That last line sure does read differently now, doesn't it? Let's see, of course. Wow. Well, 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 well. Huh. Bishop Havel turns against the gods and is locked away in a tower. Which then makes you wonder, <clears throat> did... Gwyn do something terrible that caused his friend to turn on him? Or did Havel decide that he wanted something? You know, because it still could be that Havel was the one at fault here. But I'm not sure. This is what I'm saying. Like, the interpersonal stuff is clearly a thing. Like, and like, that's clearly important to this world, um, to this story. And honestly, I suspect that whatever is crumbling in the universe is because of petty human or human-like um, squabbles and things like that. So, my goodness, okay, well, oh, I'm sorry, guys. That is really interesting. <clears throat> yeah, the ember that makes occult weapons was locked away in a painted world. The church put it there. It was hidden by the church for a long time, it says. Was it in there? The annex? Was the, was the ember in there? Resembling an old cathedral. The church long hid. Hmm. So did Havel become a bishop of he wouldn't not if he hates Seath although Seath turned on the dragons could Havel have sided with the dragons I just don't know but it definitely feels like there's something there doesn't it doesn't it seem like those things have to be connected somehow um huh that is really interesting <coughs> and then like Ornstein still doing what Gwyn commanded him to do everybody doing what Gwyn commanded them to do no it doesn't it just says that see this is sworn enemy he despised magic why would Havel despise magic I don't know interesting though hmm it doesn't say friend it says old battlefield compatriot which I remember if I remember correctly that is the phrase they use curious yeah but are is the are the are the priests in opposition to the wizards like have we seen that like good old bull cut man who's probably gonna go hollow in a uh, fire Link shrine area and like big hat logan and his friend like are they are there people in opposition because i don't think i've seen anything that says that well yeah no i mean like the fact that he's like a traitor like i would honestly just like accept just that um but then that kind of makes me wonder like like did havel turn on um Gwyn because Gwyn sided with and then provided he provided Seath with his laboratory like they say that 
Which, if you hate Seath and you hate his evil stuff, you'd be like, dude, what the heck are you doing? Yes, actually, Blues, if you don't mind giving me some dialogue that I've seen. No, he's not a god. He's a dragon. So things that you do against gods wouldn't work on him. I think things against dragons would work. I guess... I don't know. Yeah, because I try to rely on my memory, but it's been, honestly, an entire month since I played this game last. And there, I think I took most of another month off before that. So I don't know. Yes, yeah, so no, the gods seem to be Gwyn's kind. And then there's Velka, who's not associated with them, but is a god. <coughs> yes, okay. Have you heard of Seath the Scaleless? In legend, he turned against the ancient dragons. He became Lord Gwyn's confidant, was granted dukedom, and was allowed to pursue his research, and screwed everybody. <coughs> yeah, so he became friends with Gwyn. Havel became angry about the situation. And that went to hell. Okay. That seems clear enough, doesn't it? Doesn't it? He's granted dukedom. His research, which is super messed up, and I bet, I bet, I bet that girl is his creation in some capacity. And she was just like, nope, 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 nope. Sorry, Dad, you're a crazy evil dude, so we're just all going to go hang out in this place and have a party. It does to me. You're certainly welcome to disagree, but based on the pieces that I have, it seems like a likely possibility. Okay. So... That's interesting. I had actually not considered Havel as an important part of the story. But he might very well be. Interesting. Okay. Alright. I'm on board with this. I'm on board with this, yeah. Okay. Let's see. I think so. We will eventually go to Seath the Scaleless's fortress <coughs> or laboratory. And I'm sure then we will discover all sorts of things that maybe poke holes in my theories. Maybe not. We'll see. And I will continue to shape them more. So is there a conspiracy against Gwyn? Havel's dragon tooth. Oh, you're right. Havel's weapon is the dragon tooth, isn't it? Isn't it? You notice how these two are right side by side, I guess because they're clubs. Which is, like, very intentional. Created from an everlasting dragon tooth. Resistance to magic and flame. Yeah. Wow. Okay, then. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. So I assume the it will never break because it's harder than stone means that, like, you don't actually have to uh, forge it to make it, um... <clears throat> Like, you don't have to get it fixed. Yeah, I don't really... I don't want to go to any of those zones, but I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to go do those things. Oh, God. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I, uh... Oh, no. Maybe I'll do another poll. <clears throat> so... Blues, how much gets given away by Priscilla's stuff? Like, how much am I going to learn from that? I'm looking forward to the DLC. Somebody told me what it was, don't tell me, and I have actually forgotten what it's connected to. Which is great. That is the advantage of forgetting things because it's been a month. <coughs> I feel like I should like draw like a family tree of like everybody that we know about in the background of this world. I'm sorry you guys, we're just like listening to this ting, 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 which I realize might actually be super annoying. I just completely uh, tuned it out. Um, but yeah. All right, well, Blues, I want to know if you don't mind. I'll go ahead and take that more than just her name. 
Many Kitty, um, there, I don't know if anyone actually likes spoilers. People like giving spoilers. In the case of Priscilla, um, I wanted to know those things. Um, so I, but I wasn't, I was torn on what that would do for my experience, um, and for your experience watching this. So I asked Twitter and like 30 something people I think voted and 75% of them said yes on the spoilers. So yeah. Crossbeed bastard child and antithesis to all life. Oh wow. Okay. Crossbreed bastard child and antithesis to all life. Huh. Okay, that's really, really, really interesting. Antithesis to all life. So she must be so she's clearly something that should not exist. But they have like created life. They have all these things that they made. <coughs> That's interesting. Why is she taboo? Then is she part dragon and part god? Uh, let's hold off for now, Blues. Um, I might ask more later. Um, but for now, I think that gives me enough to think about. It's a lot to think about, my goodness. Alright, well, so in a sense, we didn't do a lot this stream. We went down through the Great Hollow to Ash Lake. We fought the Hydra and met an everlasting dragon. And we ran into, um onion friend in the swamp. And that's really, like, literally all we accomplished. But, <clears throat> it's true, we did get into the swing of things. Somehow, did you notice I didn't press the wrong button, really, at any point? Like, what's up with that? In my entire life, has there been a game that I could go an entire month without playing and still remember the buttons instinctively? That's the craziest thing. Dark Souls clearly has the most intuitive control scheme I have ever encountered. Because I put a lot of hours into it, don't get me wrong, but... He's adorable! And then we started talking about caramelized onion ice cream, which is something that I might have to try making at some point. Um, but yeah. Okay, well, it's actually just about time for us to shut down. So for those of you who maybe have missed it earlier, um, so we have a Discord... Um, if you're not part of the Discord, if you want to talk amongst yourselves about my lore discussions and you don't want to spoil me, I have a specific channel there for people to talk about stream spoilers. Um, so it's apparently a great fun to, um, it's great fun to be in there during a stream and you, and everyone's just like, oh my god, why does she think it's this? What is she doing? Ah! So you can be part of that if you want to. <coughs> the Discord, um, also... Here, let's go ahead and do this. The Discord, um, also, like, if you join our community and kind of get to know us, we're going to have, because we had such a good time at MAGFest, we're going to have a little party that we're going to um, stream, probably. We're going to rent um, a house, probably in Chicago, probably in August. Um, and so if you're a regular that we know, so we feel comfortable potentially having you in that house, um, just let us know. I'll keep talking about that. There's also um, a charity stream that we're planning. Um, so there'll be some cool, not, not at that, but like as a separate thing. So there's some cool things coming up, um, which I really appreciate you guys like coming back to see me despite the month absence. Um, I really, um, I don't know. I really did not know what to expect. Like, like when somebody was like, yeah, I thought maybe you'd given up. I'm like, I would not be surprised if people were like, wow, it has been an entire month. She's not coming back. So. <coughs> oh well thank you Hinimaru I play I'm replaying through um, Night in the Woods on Tuesdays I'm going to start Final Fantasy 14 and make a character on Monday because Monday is my birthday usually I do creative streams then but we're going to do that specially on my birthday this coming Monday um, Tuesday is, is Night in the Woods Weird Autumn Greg Rules Edition replay Thursdays are always Dark Souls until I beat Dark Souls unless I beat Dark Souls if I beat sorry, Dark Souls at some point in my life before the world ends then we'll figure out what to do um, but yeah, I'm glad that you have enjoyed your stay here. I'm really lucky. We have a really positive community here. Um, so I like it that way. So you, uh, 
you seem like you fit in really nicely. Um, but yeah, so feel free to, to um, hang out anytime you want. Um, come say hi in Discord. Tell us who you are. Um, and yeah, I I don't know. Like, It really does honestly mean a whole lot to me that you people are willing to <laughs> give your Thursday evenings to come hang out with me. And that you are... <coughs> I don't know. Well, somebody... I think somebody bought me Dark Souls, too, so I might be obligated. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, like, I didn't I didn't know if you guys would be back. And so the fact that you are is really cool. So thank you for that. Um, I enjoy all of this stuff, but it would be nothing without um, my community. So thank you for being my Flutie Pies. Yay. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks, Blues. Yeah, no, hopefully um, I'll have a couple of friends that I can summon to walk through things while I'm freaking out. So, yay! Well, have a good night, everybody, and I will see you again Monday. We will be playing character creation in Final Fantasy XIV and celebrating my birthday. So I might, like, do something ridiculous. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm really excited about it. So, yeah, have a good night, everybody, and I will see you soon.